Okay, this is the finished program. Uh, this time I'm going to show how to initialize the directory device. How to get directory to set up everything so that we have the screen and so that we can draw something. Uh, it's pretty simple this time. Okay, this is a directory device file. So, first of all, we include the window because we're going to need the window itself. And this is the directory the header for the directory object itself, and this is the library header. So we have the header and the library. First of all, this directory itself, that's the, it requires a special object for itself. Since we're using com, so we need a special directory object, then now it's the directory device. If we device, each device will have uh, its own device uh, header. Okay, this is how the function we'll be using. I need device to initialize the device. Here we have to set it to the window that we are going to be drawing. Even we set to full screen, we're still going in a window. Maybe I might create a second height device, but for now we need a window. And we have long uh, height and width. So this is necessary for, for various reasons. Okay, here's the I need, I need device function. We've got the display parameters, variable, display, display parameter, present parameters. First, we'll create the directory device. We get the directory device. You know, we created directory device nine, default SDK version. Uh, uh, different for each version. Okay, so then you get the display mode, the current display mode of the current adapter. So just so we have everything set f for the defaults, we could set the display mode for itself, but uh, that's more complicated. Now I want to get into. I really don't even know how to do that. Okay, so it's zero to memory, so that we don't have to set everything. So we set windows to true, swap effect, discard. So after we draw a frame, we just discard it. And back with format, simple as like that. Presentation of vault. That's the, those two are for Z buffer. Uh, we might not be using Z buffer at first, but uh, we just set for here. And then presentation immediately so that we, everything, every frame is set immediately. It's just placed immediately when you call present. So there's no delay. Okay, here's the window and then width and height. Width and height is not necessary if you're doing windows because the, the width and height is by default is taken from the from the size of the window, but the size of the window can change while you're drawing. So if you set it to to a random parameter and uh, if you have a like a particle system that requires you to know the width and height so you can do clipping, if you set this if you set this wrong then everything's gonna draw incorrectly. Like if you resize the window. If you resize the window after you create by the particle system, then the edges of the of the display area will not match with the edges uh, that you have in your program. So it's necessary to set it here so that even if the size of the window change and everything gets scaled up and down, that we don't miss anything. So everything's gonna be the same no matter what, even if you resize the window. So that's necessary for that reason. Okay, then we create a device. Simple as that. We create the device, and if the device failed. Then we set our visual message and everything is set uh, and set the error. Okay, here for render, like I, the render doesn't do anything here. All it does is a stand in. It clears the screen to zero, clears the C buffer, and see, clears the screen to black. It creates a black screen. You can change the color here by changing the values here. And then begin scene and scene. There's supposed to be some drawing right here, but uh, there's nothing here, so that's that, that just a stand in. And we present. We set everything to null because uh, we don't need all this. Maybe someday we'll need it, but uh, right now we don't need it. So, if you want, if you want to do any drawing, you put the drawing code right in here, in between begin scene and end scene. But because we're not doing any drawing yet, so we don't have anything. Okay, now close device, and we we delete everything, you created the device parameter, and then the direct with the uh, direct with the frame that we created. So we destroy everything that we create. A very important when you when you in the program to destroy everything that you create. That's that's pretty much for now. So again with the final result. Normally this wouldn't be drawn because all this the directive is supposed to do is just draw a black screen. So all these cubes here they wouldn't be appearing. That that's drawn later. So if you want, if you did it for the library it just just shows the initializes and closes. It doesn't do anything. So next tutorial we're gonna be showing how to do this cube here. That's pretty simple, but uh, that's where we'll start.